Warning! Kevin Tran's back. Hey everyone, welcome back to Athenian TV Podcast for Supernatural Season 13, Episode 7, War of the Worlds. I am Nikki, and tonight I have with me Dom and Kim. Ha. Hello. So, consensus on this episode. I think Kevin Tran was... was in it, so. <laughs> I was like, it's Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> The door opens, the white glow, and in walks Kevin. First thing mm-hmm. I did was grab my phone, send a picture to Cleo, who uh, who used to be on the show, and I, I talked to her about this today, and she's like, you know, killing of, of Kevin Tran was the downfall of why she stopped watching the show. It's like everything spiraled out of control from there. Like it was, the, she lost Kevin, and then she lost uh, uh, Felicia Day's character. Yeah, Charlie, mm-hmm. and that just set off a chain of events that was irreparable for her. So I was just like, and she goes, "Is is he back in a bullshit way?" And I go, "Halfway," <laughs> and she, he just started laughing. And I was like, "It's it's alter, alternate universe, Kevin." She goes, "Okay, is he still like Kevin?" I go, "Yeah, yeah." And then I started explaining, you know, like the it's but it's evil Michael and all this stuff, and mm-hmm. she's just like, "Oh, that's really interesting." So, you know. Piqued their interest, at least. Yeah. So, speaking of Michael, um, uh, the beginning scene is Lucifer all caged up in Michael's little whatever it is, uh, being mind. Like, I just felt like he had, like, one of those mind suckers, and he was just, like, but Michael's hand was just, like, taking all his memories and his thoughts, and all we saw was the universe and a monologue that... Lucifer was talking about with God and how he's not ironic and he's not funny, but he sure did something good with Earth and he gave humans a chance and all this jazz. But yeah. It was like he was taking his real thoughts. I don't know. Michael got to dig really deep in, in Lucifer's head. Got to know his greatest fears and, you know probably like exactly what he thought of god and earth and humans and everything and and it's not so bad um lucifer is not that big of a jerk inwardly but outwardly he's an asshole (laughs) (laughs) um lucifer's fantastic well we got to see when he was being all like super teenage (laughs) when he was angsty with with uh i wish lucifer was my best friend Totally taking that out of context, any Catholic would crucify me on the spot. Yeah, this <laughs> this version of Lucifer is far more humanized than any version that has been told, other than the actual TV show called Lucifer, which is actually very interesting, but we don't cover it. Um, Never I haven't sat down and watched it. I've been wanting to. It, I've seen the first few episodes of the first season. It was actually really good. Hmm. Um, but yeah. This particular Lucifer is very humanized. He has weaknesses. He, you know, he has feelings and emotions. Or, you know, most depictions of Satan, the devil, he's just a demon and he's out to destroy everything. Yeah. I mean, Lucifer does like a little chaos and destruction, but... Who doesn't? He, well, some people don't, but, you know, he, he typically likes the way things are. He just wants a little bit more power, that's all. But uh, Michael wants, after digging deep into Lucifer's head, Michael wants into um, Earth. I want to say our dimension, because that's what we've, 13 season, that's that's what we've gr- basically grown up on. I mean, we know I they mean, have Scooby-Doo, so it's got to be our, our, yeah. Yeah. Um. So, you know, he's... We got Kevin. We got Kevin back because Michael needs the prophet to say the to de- decipher what's on the angel tablet to open up another rift. But where's Mary? I mean, they mentioned her. Where is she? That she's off. He has her off somewhere else. He, yeah. For 
what reason though? She's she's like the only female left in this apocalyptic world. Or exactly. Yeah. <laughs> she deserves a special cell. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> did did Lucy call Kevin a junkie? Lucy. Yes, I yes. called Lucy, Lucy Lucifer Lucy. Yes, um, he he called him a, a crackhead or no, yeah. a, a method, something, something, I don't know. Something because well, he did. He was like really. Um, it was kind of like Kevin when they when he first became a prophet when he first was deciphering. I think it was the demon tablet, and he got like really hyped up on caffeine, and he was just like all over the place, but. Yeah, he except he's that all the time. He talks really fast. He says stupid facts because that's what's just rolling off his tongue out of his rolling off his yeah rolling off his tongue out of his head. You know, it's just he's just rambling. And you know, Michael's just like, shut up, do your job, shut up. But it gets to the point where you know Kevin makes the concoction. He says the spell. The rift opens. Lucifer gets himself free. I knew he was going to do this. And he just jumps through. I knew. As oh. soon as, like, the portal open and they're, like, tightening the restraint, like, they're holding him tighter, I was like, Pfft. he's going to beat the shit out of him and jump through the portal. Which, <laughs> you know, I wasn't... Ex- I kind of was... Ex- I knew he was going to get through, but, like, they had just taken some of his grace, yeah. and so, you know, he was weaker. Yeah. So, that was, like, one of the... That was the key ingredient for making this spell to open the rift and michael refused to donate some of the the grace kevin made very clear that you know he was an asshole for not for not donating Mm -hmm. just like you know he should be donating blood kim you look like you have something on your mind (laughs) no so i was i was i was occupied by stupid i was I have my phone in my head, and I keep doing this, and I see the my face, my face light up, and I kept doing it over and over again. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shiny. <laughs> but, I mean... So I was laughing at myself for being stupid. <laughs> that's pretty much it for the other dimension. Lucifer gets free, and he's back on Earth. And so, you know, there's no sign of Jack. He's keeping himself well hidden. He's covering his tracks. He's cloaking his powers. How the hell he's doing this? We don't know. (laughs) Children. (laughs) (laughs) Good day. Do you guys know how Jack is cloaking himself? Yes. Okay. Explain. Yeah, that was a good count. He has a flashlight and he keeps shining it in his eyes. <laughs> ha- okay. Um. Does he have the, the the cloak from Harry Potter? He had to have learned. I don't know how he would have learned to do that. He, yeah, and I, I don't know. Himself somewhere. Like, he knows he can put himself somewhere where they, no one would, like... Well, we know he took Cass out of the... Or he got Cass out of the Empty by connecting to Cass somehow, right? I don't think he Maybe... even knows that he did that, though. No, he didn't, but he... They figured it out. They Cass did, came but back. I, I don't know if he did. I don't, he, no, think he, he doesn't know how he did it, though. He doesn't know how he did it, but... Maybe, like... Because he, he's, he's, he figures he's going to hurt everybody around him put himself in a place where there's nobody. Mm-hmm. So maybe he did put himself in the empty. I don't know about that. I think I'm starting to think he's starting to realize that he can will things. Yeah. So maybe if he thinks it hard enough, it can happen kind of thing. So he willed himself to the moon? Or no, willed himself no, like No, cuz they would still know he was on the moon. Like they would still have some presence of him whatever. Um he cloaked himself. Like, he figured out how to cloak himself. Uh, he probably uh, learned through the, the symbols and the tattoos and everything that they were trying to put on him. Uh, and, and he probably did that to himself. So you think he's kind of hiding out the way Kane was? Out in the boonies? Yeah. 
in the middle of like a forest or like Probably. the middle of what's the least populated state? Atlantis. <laughs> he put himself in Atlantis. Mm -hmm. it's state uh, Wyoming. <laughs> no. Kansas. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's it, you know Montana. one that has a one that has a lot of space and not much people in it, which Alaska. <laughs> yeah. Canada in general. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he went to Canada. Screw that. <laughs> um, but uh, Cass is going to go to the Angels to ask to see if they have him, if they've seen him, if they've sensed him. And Dean says, don't do anything stupid. You're talking to Cass. Cass is still naive as fuck. He doesn't know what stupid is. <laughs> he doesn't know himself? <laughs> I, think, I, think... I mean, to be fair, he's been a bazillion different characters over the the yeah. course of when we first met him, so I think he'd have identity crises. My favorite was Misha, Misha Collins. <laughs> he playing himself. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that was good. Um, totally meet... hanging with the dudes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag fun. Yes, yes. <laughs> the French mistake. That was one. It's one of the best episodes. Um, he really is meet... on social media a lot. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he is. With, uh, what is it? Mishwishes or something? His Instagram, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, as I say, pull up the Instagram. I was like, <laughs> Mishwish. Yes, Mish that's wish. the one. Uh, we meet an angel called Duma. Duma. And she, Duma, Duma, Duma. Duma. And she basically dupes Cass, lures Duma. him into a trap. Because now the angels are going to kidnap him so that they can lure out Jack so that the angels can put Jack to work and repopulate the angels. Yeah, because apparently no new angels have been created since uh, the beginning of time. Since well, God, God made... Yeah. yeah. God made all of the angels. He didn't like... So how do none they of them make were birthed. Angels? How do they make angels? The same way Jack was made. Well, I assume well, I they're gonna the have to same way. No. not the same way, but like they're <laughs> gonna have to do something similar because well, cause like well, God's not gonna make any more. You know, so one of the things run around making nephilim. One of the things you know, you know said is, uh, when you die, you go to heaven, you become an angel. You know, all that. That's not the case in this. You mm -hmm. know, like they're literally like people do not turn into angels at any point. Like they no. are created, and that is that. I mean, there the other way that he could probably do that is fish them out of the empty wake them up so that whoever is running yeah. the empty has to send them away. Yeah. I mean, that's how we got Cass. Yeah, yeah then... but if they're, if they're dead... Well, uh, Cass was dead. Cass was dead, the body was destroyed. They burned it. So. Right, no, what I'm saying is, if they're already dead, maybe, we, maybe there's a reason why they're dead. <laughs> I mean, maybe well, they're dead. Yeah, sure, but some of them were, were not. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure a fair share were Cass, Dean, and Sam company. You know, but just three of them, just stabby stabs. Mm. A good amount of them. Um, or, well, demon, angel. Yeah, that too. Confrontations. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm pretty sure angels don't die of old age, so. No. And I'm pretty sure Lucifer by himself killed a bunch. <laughs> yeah. He so. did, actually. I mean, we could get Paul Gabriel in. back this way. We could. I mean, we've gotten him back in ways. Um, we don't get to see him, but he has. Uh, Directed a few episodes now. More yeah, than a no, few. I know. Several. I, I mean, get him back. in the show. Get him back I know back. what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, but you know, so there's a fight going down. Cass is like getting his ass whooped, and Lucifer, after finding his way, fakes his power. Gets gets all red and stuff in the eyes, and then they they get the hell out of there because they're like, oh shit. And he's just like, oh god, uh, after they're gone, he's like, oh gosh, whew, huh, I'm dying. <laughs> uh, it was cute because, you know, Cass is like, oh my god, you're weak. And he goes to attack him and Lucifer's like, yo, whoa, 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 I'm not that weak, dude. Not that weak. And then it becomes a buddy duo kind of combo thing with Cass and Lucy, which I did miss the Crowley Cass coupling when they went on their little mission so yeah, i feel this like is, this is just fantastic though putting putting cass and lucifer together my favorite <laughs> though is when lucifer first arrived and he's sitting on the streets and he's like i'm lucifer <laughs> 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 oh 
Oh yeah, that that oh my god, that lady. She's like, you're not Lucifer. My ex husband is. And then, and, it's, he, and then he just walks down the street. He goes, ah, to some <laughs> random person. <laughs> I lost uh, it. Like, I absolutely Mark, lost it. Mark Pellegrino. Amazing actor. He can play funny. He can play serious. He's so versatile. It's awesome. <clears throat> I am like so happy they got him back because for a while there, there was um, there was con- a conflict of like the time conflict where he could not be part of the show because he was doing other projects. But he likes it so much on the show, he doesn't really want to do anything else right now. So. That's yeah, kind of why they is. shifted well, around the cast for the on, season. He was on that other show, the, the, the vampire and the werewolf and the ghost. Uh, I forget what that show was. Uh, Being Human. Being Human, yeah, he was on oh, that. Mm-hmm. He was on that he one was, for a while. Yeah, he was also in a Netflix series called The Returned. So, which was actually really good, and I'm sad that they didn't decide to do a season two. I mean, it's Netflix. They can do whatever they want, but I mean, so far, I haven't seen any um, news about a season two. Um, yeah, I, I love I love Cass and Lucifer being together. And I have a question. I know, um, like, Cass's grace depleted as it went on. It didn't regen even when he wasn't using it. It was slowly depleting before he got his actual grace back from when Metatron took it seasons mm-hmm. ago so does an archangel's grace regen that's a good question um it seemed like because remember when he yeah. first came out he couldn't do anything mm-hmm. and then now then he, then he could like do his, his eyes turn eyes. red yeah 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 but as Mateus could still kick his ass which we'll get to well because he but, tried to call oh, his bluff i can't wait till he gets mm-hmm. his shit back because it probably obviously as Mateus could feel the, his power yeah. So I can't wait until he turns, gets his power back, and turns around, and just kicks as his ass. Yeah. But <laughs> um, so Lucifer takes Cast to a bar. It, it seemed like the exact same bar where uh, Meta, I mean uh, Metatron and God were. No. Uh, it seems like it. Like it seems like, like it. Yeah. I mean, I like know. the setting, like the location. I don't mean like oh. the same one yeah. in canon of. Because that one was, like, created out of nothing existence. But it seemed like that's the one that maybe God based his his design off of. Because it seemed like the same location. <laughs> oh, I it, it was it, I mean, dirty and dank. <laughs> but... Well, I mean, if you, if you remember, like, the first, like, six, seven seasons of them going around before they got the bunker from going hotel room to hotel room to hotel room they were basically the same they and but they just changed up the decor there was always that one divider after the door oh and like, yeah like the it was like the old like 60s or like whatever thingy yep 50s 50s like divider thing so i can see them like rehashing an old set just making it a little bit different even though it's still looking the same as far as like structure goes so that yeah, I I get what you're trying to say now, but uh, Lucifer explains about the other Michael, and his plan, and that's the only reason why Cass is on board. With you know, you know, uh, partnering up with Lucifer, and there was a part in I can't remember what he said it to, but I think they were talking about Jack, and. Lucifer goes, oh, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch it the first time I watched, but the second time... Oh, I missed that. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I feel like he said it before, though. Like, last I season, maybe. I think he has. But just the way he said it, it was... I caught it. Like, now that like you say it, I remember him saying that, but I didn't, mm-hmm. like realize what he was saying you know like because you probably just auto filled it with god no i knew he said uh, dad but i didn't like i didn't understand why he was saying it basically is what it came down to and (laughs) now i just kind of like i realize you know it's just like i don't know i was like dead when i was watching it (laughs) oh man it was uh, i really 
hope we get more of this. Like, they plan escape from Asmodeus because, you know, Asmodeus is searching down Jack. So he's got, you know, he's he had a tail on Lucifer, found him with Cat, Cass. And, you know, so he's Angry beating Colonel the Sanders. <laughs> Angry <laughs> Colonel Sanders. He's beating the hell out of human beings who have no idea what the frig he's talking about like he's like this poor hotel guy from dodge city which was last episode um just he's like i don't know what you're talking about yeah maybe i saw them but i don't know where they went i don't know who they are they look like fbi agents that's it and then he's dead but yeah um i do have to say our angry colonel sanders and i love his accent Oh. He's fantastic. I really he's love great. him. I love him. He's so awesome. Like I mean, I, was... I hate to say, you know, like if if we didn't lose Crowley, if Mark Shepard didn't return, we may not have gotten him to no. this capacity. Um, no. And it sucks because I really, really love Mark Shepard, and I wish he would come back. Because um, I, I it, the show feels really empty without Crowley. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I mean, I... As well, is I, a nice replacement, but there's no replacement. Is. You know what I mean? No, there isn't. We've had Crowley for 12 seasons, pretty much. Well, no, he came in season three? No, two and a half. It was really early. I don't remember. Really early, but still, like, that's over 10 years. He was just our crossroads. Yeah. It's over 10 years, at least. So, you know, like I said, if you started watching in season one, you've basically grown up with this show. I was 17 when I started watching this show. So. Feeling, I'm going to feel old here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's Crowley nuts. came in on season five. Really? Was it really? Yeah. Well, still, that's a long ass time to be on a show. I didn't realize it was that late. Yeah. It feels like he's been on the show forever, so I can't even anymore. But yeah, he's, he's Mark Shepard doesn't want to come back he's done he wants to move on be with his family all that stuff so i understand but yeah asmodeus is is a nice temp for um for crowley oh no he was first seen in season three but he didn't have a major role till season five yeah okay because yeah remember we were introduced to him a couple different times Mm -hmm. yeah yeah. he's he's the big crossroads demon yeah he was the head honcho crossroads he was the know, one that kept didn't... the books. I don't know, I have to look, because the wiki is saying that it just says at some point during season three, Bella Tabbit met with Crowley and gave him the cult, so I think that was done off-screen. That was off-screen, yeah. Yeah, so season five, then. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Season five. I don't five. know. In Abandon All Hope, Crowley first appears. Okay. Um, but I feel like, uh, Mark Pellegrino, because he does like the Supernatural family so much, he does fit in so well, I think, uh, they're giving him a bigger role, because he's supposed to be a re- instead of, like, a guest star, he's actually a reoccurring role this season. Yeah. So, I feel like they're gonna be doing, hopefully, in the next couple seasons, maybe they'll, I don't know if they can take away his- powers or make him more human or anything but if they want to keep jack in the show and i don't know they, they'd they have to balance it out so that he's not like the all-powerful being because well he's not anymore jack is but i, I know he, i know you guys understand what i'm trying to say but like well we still already established that jack is more powerful than anyone mm-hmm. um but i mean I know it's still early in the season, but Michael could show up and then be the big overarching bad for the next, you know. Well, they they also said this episode that Michael is much more powerful than the Michael was at all ever. That that we that we learned what that died on our Earth. Uh, the, so the, this other Michael is so much more powerful. I wonder what made what why is he more powerful? Like how did he get so much more power? I mean we obviously I would see that he's the big head head of in mm-hmm. this other world. So what did he do? I mean, we know he's not a good angel. He no, he's a jerk. He's, he's a jerk. So maybe he's kind of doing what demons do and 
instead of sending people up to heaven, he's just absorbing the souls and their power, kind of like, you know, collecting. Like he's collected other angels' essences? Maybe. But like uh, we we do know race. that he we do know that human souls also have a good amount of energy, so he could be doing that as well. Sure. Right. Well, it it seems like because of the apocalypse and this stuff, it changed him so dramatically that mm -hmm. you know he's on an all out crusade to like end everything. Well, we know he killed he killed Lucifer in the in this in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Huh. I, I just, wonder what I just cannot wait until Kevin reopens a portal. And they come through, and then Sam and Dean meet Kevin again, and they're like, Kevin. They're just like, they're Kevin's not gonna know who they are. No, because there was never any Winchester ever. Yeah. On their Earth, on that, in that other dimension. So yeah. like, they're gonna be all weepy and want to hug him, and he's gonna be like, No, don't touch me, men. I want the hot women's. I don't want no guys. Get out. That's what he's Kevin... still the same person. He's still the same person. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hot women? So, I mean, we were just talking about Crowley or whatever. I want to share a little mm -hmm. little story quickly. Okay. Um, I was watching this show. I, I, I watched all the shows that I had to do last night for for this, for our podcast. So I had three shows to watch. Save Supernatural to last. I passed out in the middle of Supernatural. I didn't finish it. So I woke up, I checked my phone, right? And I was scrolling through Facebook, and I saw a message that said, uh, Mark Shepard returns to Supernatural, whatever, and I was like, I was so mad, because I was like, fuck, I woke up and I like, I, I missed this, whatever, so I, I was so mad, and I, I, then I woke up again, so I, I dreamt that, that Mark Shepard, I dreamt about reading spoilers about Mark Shepard coming on Supernatural, when that, that never even happened, so... <laughs> I was just like, I was thinking to myself, I was like, if they did, and they pulled over this whole big thing, like, Mark Shepard really is coming back kind of thing, and Crowley's coming back, and it's like this big reveal, this is exactly something Mark Shepard would do, is, I'm done with Supernatural, I'm never gonna be on it, like, he'd want to keep it a secret, he would go to extreme lengths to surprise is, the fans. I, I do agree with that, but he's also a grumpy SOB. Well, yeah. And what he has said to certain people and, like, whatever, I believe it. I believe I the think, way, like, the know, tone, he's like, oh, I, I would never, go. like, he gets all, like, you could see it in, like, in I a twi Twitter, you could see the rage and the grump just, like, I know, but he's out. an actor. Oh, you can't see it. It's Instagram. He posted it on Instagram. Yeah. Just play it. Boop. He's playing with this kid. Yeah. Yep. So cute. No, I know, but you know, he's an actor, so he he yeah, could, he could act really angry if he wants to. Um, but I wouldn't put it past him. You know, he might he might, for all we know, he might just be taking the season off. You know, he's playing the whole thing, and the season finale is is Crowley's return. You know, like that would build up some really big hype. You know, if the last thing we saw at the end of season thirteen was Crowley coming back. You well, know? we know he's a demon. And we know where demons and angels go, and we've already gotten an angel back from that place, so... Yeah, so... I mean, the possibility is there. They left it wide open if he does want to come back. I think they did that on purpose. Even though he's, he's claimed that he doesn't want to come back, they said the door is open to you. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, something you expect from the Supernatural family anyway, is just to be like, you can come back if you want, yeah. which is awesome. So, so no I'm going to say, when I woke up the second time, out of the the dream wake up and i finished this episode i was disappointed but <laughs> but there was kevin so i wasn't that disappointed yeah kevin surprised me kevin yeah. wasn't the only one that came back yeah that's true oh catch <laughs> i like i was like wait a minute <laughs> like it took me a second the big old beard fuzzy beard whatever the fuck and it was like they're like i was like they're like catch and i'm like hey what what? Yeah. What? What? That's the we... that's the that's that's the monster of the week. It's their case of the week um, for Dean and Sam. This episode is figuring out who the hell is murdering all these witches. There's like three of them in like five mi mile radius or five hundred. I don't even know. It's like a really close proximity, and all these witches are just getting massacred. Throat slipped, mm -hmm. slit, tortured, burned. You 
you name it, they're dead. And they're not coming back. And the only thing they have to go off of at first is that who's ever killing them is asking for Rowena. And they keep telling him, the, the killer, that you know, Rowena's dead. And he just doesn't accept it. So when they get there to the place of I didn't catch, um, they find out from a witch that it, because they do some little oobly jooblies they find out there's catch on a on a screen and then they find out that you know he's looking for Rowena and that um I, I lost my train of thought oh they, they set up a thing they set up a trap with the witch that needs their help she got away from catch and uh so they set up a trap she almost dies again from choking on some sort of gas that catch through into this it's, house. It's and... witch must mustard gas. Yes. <laughs> and well, I mean, they were it's coughing over it too, so it's yeah. whatever. But they uh they dart him. They tranquilize him. Is that what happened? Yeah, it was a trank. And so when they take off his mask, it's just like, you know, catch has put on a few pounds and he has lots of fuzz on his face. Yeah, he got a little chubby. Yeah, that tends to happen, especially, like, with characters that don't expect to come back, and then they're like, oh, well, I guess so. Like, you know, we, we've also seen, like, Crowley fluctuate. I think the only characters who haven't really uh, put on extra weight, unless it's muscle, has been Sam and Dean. So, they take him back to um, the bunker... He's all chained up. They're beating the hell out. Well, Dean's beating the hell out of him, trying to get um, information. And he goes, "You must have mistaken me with my brother. I am not Arthur. I am Alexander." I believed him so until I. Mary came up. As soon as the coverage about Mary came up, and the look in his eye went, "Oh, you are so full of shit." Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the first indication. Was when he was asking. Dean how Mary was like oh well you know how is she and Dean's just like hmm and then they get a call from Cass because he's talking but it was to the Lucy there's the whole going through the hard drive and all that and finding information about him and mm -hmm. everything on there and yeah. they're just like there's there's evidence that he existed and and you know it's Sam like, believed him I believed him it was Dean, believable I mean it was totally plausible it was. I mean I'm like, okay, so you got a twin brother that isn't as much of an asshole. And then he was out there <laughs> eating a sandwich, and I thought it was funny. I'm like, oh, we're going to have, like, he's going to become a new character, and it's going to be hilarious, because it's going to be this big doofus. And I'm all like, okay, that's, that's cool. He is a doofus. Mm -hmm. It was interesting, because Sam... And it's not uh, bad looking. I was okay with it. And I was what like, is okay. with all the guys on the show that have accents now? Because Crowley had his accent, his, and then, you know, because he's Irish, and... Or Scott, it, one, he's one of I those. will take all the accents. And then you got Asmodeus now, and Cash. He's a very good-looking old man. He is. Um, he's a good-looking man. But yeah, that was really funny, because Sam's like just letting him wander, eating a sandwich, you know, stealing weapons, and getting the keys so for a motorcycle. It was funny, I thought it was funny. I'm like, oh, we're going to have this big doofus character. The I'm completely is, okay with this. Dean didn't, you know, Dean just kind of like made a deal about it, but then he was like, whatever. Like, he just like, fine, Sam, you can have it. I don't like it, but you can have it. So, there's all of that. They do the research. They're like, okay, whatever. We're just going to... Dean's like, I'm, I'm not believing. Sam's believing. This happens all the time. Sam and Dean on opposite ends of the spectrum. We're used just, to it. Sam wants to believe, wants to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. He... I wouldn't call it naive. It is kind of naivety, even after everything that's happened. In, but... He oh he wants to see the good in people. Just yeah. that's he's always been that like that. He just yeah. wants to see the good in people and in monsters and all this stuff. He wants to see the possibility of someone not being a shithead. Yep. And like I said, I was I was on the the like the, the whole bandwagon. I'm like, okay, cool, new character. He's he's got a it's not the he, catch was the evil twin. He's <laughs> this is the not so evil goofy twin. I'm like, okay, well, well, this is fine. Well, it, Makes sense. I mean, I mean, Alexander, as we were, you know, ex he, that's who he was playing at the point when he was talking about his brother Arthur, which is not the case, 
But when he was talking about Arthur, um, he was saying he's a good company man. He was loyal to a fault. He was a dick because he had to be. Yeah, if he was Which here is... right now, he would apologize to you. Exactly. <laughs> that that whole conversation was also another indication that you know he really looks. Why would why would his if you were Alexander and you were a hunter and you were you know you were kind of like a uh, a gun for hire and you were looked down upon and treated like shit from your family? Why would you look up to your older brother, your other your yeah. twin? Who want who wants to kill you? Why would you? Uh, uh, Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> well, I mean, that that's, would be that's Stockholm. not Stockholm syndrome. It would be. He's Stockholm. not a prisoner. It's, it's, yes. but it's like same. It's the same concept. Is not. I mean, not. Just, just go with me. No. What I'm trying to say. <laughs> I know what it's, you're trying to say, but, but no, even, even no. Though, just, just hold on. Shut up. No. <laughs> So it's, even though your family hates you, it's still your family. So you just kind of like you still want to be accepted, even though okay. your brother might hate you. No, you still want to be accepted. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. That's definitely not Stockholm. I that's know. more like you know blind trust or you know. But that's the first thing that came up to my head. Yeah. Just, just go with it. No, <laughs> that's like the measles. It's this. Just go with it, guys. The first thing that came to my head. Just it's it's the same. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Just leave me alone tonight, okay? I put my phone I, in my face like a weirdo. I, I get what you're trying to say, but with all of that aside, um, you know, they get a phone call from Cass, and you know, he's with Lucifer, and he tries to, you know, they they're like, okay, something's up because Cass like pretended to say something, and Lucy's like, you got no, no, you're bad at lying, so. They're like, you know what? Screw going back to Dodge City to investigate why the hell is there's demons or whatever's going on there. What the hell happened to this man? We're going to go track Cass's phone. Which leads them back to that bar that they were at. That after bar. That, that one bar where Lucifer and Cass were having their talk and Asmodeus came in and kidnapped him. Mm-hmm. But there were some demons left over. So, of course, Sam and Dean, they're in too deep. They're getting their asses whooped. And then all of a sudden, Ketch, or Alexander Ketch, comes in and saves them. It's just the way you worded that. It's Sam and Dean. It's, they're in too deep. And it's just all of a sudden, now, Sum 41 just popped <laughs> into my head. And I, all I could picture is Sam and Dean doing the entire music video. <laughs> Oh, I haven't heard that song in so long. No yeah. shit. <laughs> that, that makes me feel older than when I was talking about how long this show's been on the air. Yeah, the, um, the song probably came out the year Crowley joined Supernatural. I think it was early. I'm kidding. I was, I was I like was 13, kidding. 14 I was in like years high school. old. Yeah. Um, it was a long time ago. Um, but yeah, so that's when Dean really, really says... You are Arthur Ketch. You are not Alexander. You've been bullshitting the whole time because I know your moves. We fought toe to toe. You are Arthur. You talked about mom like you love her and all this stuff. And then Ketch is like, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm Arthur. Later, Gators. And I'm sitting here and I'm getting so angry because I'm like, we saw a bullet go through his head. Like, Mm -hmm. There's no way he's alive. I was really, 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 yeah. really mad. Like he he confesses and he goes, "I was using the same rune as Rowena for immortality because they had her locked up like three season three seasons ago off screen, mm-hmm. and they figured this out. But because he got offed, he has to get the rune recharged. Yeah, that's why I don't, why know, if I, I don't know if I believe, I don't know if I believe that shit either." I, no, I believe it. No, I believe it. Um, Rowena could keep hers up and going because she's magical. She yeah. had the spell on hand. But because he ha- he got the rune from her. He learned how to do the spell initially. But because he doesn't have that, that you know, essence of power just running through him, he can't recharge it. Now, if this, this, this goes to say, if he's alive... Rowena's Rowena. alive. Mm-mm. 
She got dusted. Burned. She got ripped apart. There's no way. For, like all the other times we've seen her die, she well, she's a witch. She's she doesn't go to the empty. She can't come she, back. No, she's always a physical. I, like if she had the same rune going, it doesn't matter. It does matter. Because every time she's died you... before this, she's never been ripped apart into particles. But where did she go? We already know that, okay, we know that spirits either go... To hell? Well, no, but she's supernatural. Wouldn't she go to purgatory? Yeah, that's weird, because in purgatory, we only saw vampires and leviathans. We never saw witches. We never saw... Um, like anything else, really. So is she still considered human? Is there witches are witches still considered human? So I think they're mostly w- human. And then she would go to hell. So technically, she's still got a spirit. So technically, they could put that in another body. They could. But I don't. If they ever brought Rowena, if they didn't get the same actress for Rowena, then don't bring her back. Well, I'm saying there no, should be ways that they, even they, though her body was dusted, I know we've all seen them bring their bodies back some way or another. But, but then she, I don't think she'd have the rune. She'd have to re-implant it or something. Which I'm sure she could do. Yeah. That, but then that's a cop-out way to bring her back. I, f- I feel like, you know, she'd just be the same character again. Have we done it a know. million times with, everybody, with all the other characters? <sighs> they always come back a little bit different. I'm telling you what? right now, if Ketch is back and he's looking for Rowena and everybody's saying Rowena's dead, Rowena's dead. They're all telling he, him that. And he's, he's like, still no. looking. And Sam and Dean are like, no, we saw Lucifer Toast. And he's just like, yeah, whatever. I'm telling thing, you Rowena's coming back. The thing is, though, even though he's back, his life has a timer. And that's pro- he's probably super desperate. That's why he's still looking for her, still looking for traces of her. Because if he doesn't get this rune recharged, he's dead again. Is he dead again, or yes. is it he can't come back again? No, he's dead. No, again. he can't come he back said, again. He made he it sound said, like he just can't come back again. He said yeah. it was um, it wasn't depleting. It was a different word. But he said it was the, depleted. He said the rune is depleted. And I need to recharge it. That that doesn't he, mean he's gonna die. That just means if he dies again, that he can't come back. Right. It means he needs to have it charged again, so that if he ever dies again, he can come back. Again. Yeah. Mm. I feel like he said he has, like, a limited amount of time. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that either. I would, I would have to rewatch it. Oh, guess what? 2001. That's when the, that's when the song came out. Okay. Okay. But, so, yeah, I mean, after all that confessing and admitting he's Arthur Ketch, he gets... He beats up Sam and Dean again, knocks them out, and rides away on a fucking motorcycle, and... God damn it, Dean. That's shot in the shoulder, But then, I know I didn't mention it earlier, but Asmodeus said he has a, or they have a hunter on the payroll, and that's how they found out that uh, Cass, Sam, and Dean doesn't have Jack, they don't have Jack anymore. We found her, found, we found the payroll. I, I, I want to say that they're giving us catch as to say, yeah, he's, he's the one that has all the information and he was feeding it to them. But it was somebody else. I think it was somebody else because he was preoccupied looking for Rowena. And, you know, just beca- because he he had an in at that point and because he's so I don't know, he's he's versatile and he's powerful in a way as a human. Um and I think Catch can get something more than just pay get payments out of Asmodeus for this whole this, this this grouping. Um, but yeah, Ketch is working for Asmodeus. Not sure if he's the hunter that was mentioned at the beginning of this episode, but I feel like Ketch yeah, is in for. Th- I don't know. Because, you know, they were. I know Sam and Dean were calling all over the place, so it is possible that, you know, it, it got passed through, you know, just somebody talking over, you know, too loudly or something. I don't know. It's, a uh, hmm. Yeah. I, for one, am glad Ketch is back. Um, I, like I said, Rowena's gonna be back now. I know it. I know <laughs> it. She has to be. 
I there's like no Ketch, so I'm like, I'm happy Ketch is back. There's no way that Ketch had the rune in him and Rowena didn't. You know, like, just knowing that Rowena had this rune, like, had access to it. It's I 100% without a shadow of a doubt know she'll be back. That's not even, like, a feeling, like, oh, no, no, I will, I will eat my hat if she does not come back this season. I will eat there's it live already on something, stream. There's already something you said you'd eat your hat over, and I'm pretty sure you should have eaten your hat three no, times No, I will, now. I will eat it on stream if she does not come back this season. I don't want her to come back this season, I will because eat if Crowley's not back, I don't want her to back. I will back. eat it during the finale podcast if she does not come back. <laughs> All right. Better roast it nice, put some salt and pepper on it because nope. it's gonna taste nasty. Nope, it's not gonna taste like anything because I I'm not gonna eat it because she's gonna come back. I'm that confident. <sighs> if she comes back, I feel like they're gonna recast her. No. no. Give her a different body. Nope. I don't know. I I don't. I think you'd be wrong if it wasn't the same. <laughs> No, it's going to be her. Um, Technically, I'm... they could bring Crowley back as a different actor, like a different actor, because it's just uh, a meat could. suit. They it, could, yeah. You know, it is. He is just using Mark yeah. Shepard as a meat suit. Yeah, the actual Mark Mark Shepard. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's why he's so grumpy. Mm -hmm. He's a demon. Um. Other than uh debating on whether or not Rowena should come back. Is there anything it's not else a debate. you guys want to talk about? It's not a debate. She's coming back. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I see all these Instagram pictures of playing with his kids, I can't call him grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, um, I'm just excited uh, for Rowena to come back. I'm excited for uh, Catch to, to be back, and I'm excited for, for Kevin to be back. I'm excited for The I... only thing that I need in my life is Gabriel, mm -hmm. and and the uh, everything will be complete. I want some... I... Oh, go ahead. No, go for it. I was going to say, I want Kevin on this earth, and I want him to be completely overwhelmed and not want the hot women's. Completely <laughs> overwhelmed. He, he talks... Can, can we get Charlie reason... back while we're at it? No. She's... Okay, Felicia Day is so like, freaking busy. You have no idea. She has oh, no yeah, time for this so show. Oh yeah, she's so much shit going on. And I'm not even saying that and because she just I don't had like a, the characters, had a baby. Charlie. Yes, so she's not interested in like big time, you know, investment commitment time stuff. Um, I feel like the only reason why Kevin wants the hot women's is because there are no hot women's in the apocalyptic world. He comes to Earth and there are plenty. I don't think he's gonna want them. I really don't think so. I don't know, I'll just drop him off on the beach somewhere. He's gonna get tired of the women's. Um, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. I want some. I want. Some, I want Mary to come back, and I want some catch Mary uh, reunite -ness, ness going on. I hope she punches her in the face. Oh man, she's gonna <laughs> beat the living shit out of him. I mean, he's I laugh gonna... that he is like still in love with her. <sighs> she killed you. <laughs> I mean, he did Can really, really Stockholm like her. <laughs> no, he's not really a prisoner in that situation either. Prisoner of the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Next episode <laughs> is called The Scorpion and, and the Frog. Call him that the Masochist. <laughs> which which one is Rowena, the scorpion or the frog? Neither one. <laughs> um, feeling as if they are running out of options, Sam and Dean agree to steal a mysterious trunk belonging to a demon named Barthamus. 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 In exchange for a locator spell, the Winchesters can use to track down Jack. That's the synopsis for next episode. Nothing about Asmodeus. Mm. Oh Who's going to cast yeah. the locator spell? I don't know. Asmodeus, Asmodeus. Oh, my cat is an asshole. No, I know exactly who's going to cast the locator spell. Why is your uh, cat an asshole? 
because now I don't know where my Skype went and I can't get it back up and I can't see things. But that's fine because we're just about to end, so I don't know. Um, yeah, there's nothing about Asmodeus. There's no, they don't even mention Cass in there. There's no Catch. There's no Lucifer. There's no, I mean, I didn't, they're, I didn't watch the preview. Let's go. Yeah, I didn't watch it either. So, I mean, there, there, there probably is a bit of the, the Cass and Lucifer and maybe a little bit of uh, Kevin, who knows, but. But yeah. who's going to cast the locator spell? I'm sure they can find another witch. There is no Rowena in the next episode. I, I didn't God. say Rowena. I was going to say it's going to be Adam. No, it's not. Oh, here you go. <laughs> here you go. You had to get, you had to get worse. You had to get, you had I did. To get worse. I did. Oh, my God. I have a headache. <laughs> Are we done? I don't know. <laughs> Do you guys that's up to you. Done yet? Are we done It's yet? all up to you. Oh, look, I want to watch the trailer. Who's this chick? <laughs> <laughs> is it Rowena? No. Would she ask who is this chick if it was Rowena? Yeah. No. <laughs> Dom, where can the people find you? You can find me down below at where is Adam? Where is it's a bunch of extra people. <laughs> mm hmm. Ah. Kim, <laughs> where can the people find you? Trying to figure out who this chick is. I guess her name is Ass or some shit. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's stupid. Someone's associates. I don't know. Demons all over the place. You can uh... find Kim down below at oh, Rowena is coming back soon. <laughs> God. Don't loop me into that shit. <laughs> H U F F I T Y P U F F I T Y. I heard that as I hate you, F F I T Y P U F F I T Y. And I was thinking it. No. <laughs> you can also find me on Twitter at Lady Venom 24, L A D Y V E N O M 24, and you can find all of us on more here on YouTube and Twitch at ASO TV Podcast, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. MySpace, and you can join us on our in our Discord, listed somewhere in a description. You can find it, so you can keep up with the conversations that we're having with other viewers and other hosts. So, yes, thank you so much for uh, and, and on joining Twitch us. And YouTube. Don't forget huh? Twitch and on Twitch and YouTube. I said that at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. I said all of us and more on Twitch and YouTube at ASU TV Podcast. Mm -hmm. That preview told me got me nothing. And surprisingly, I said, who is this chick? I said, who is this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm is not it, doing the outro Rowena? anymore. No. I'm done. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.